India is primarily an agricultural country with diverse soil types and climatic conditions. To use water efficiently, drip irrigation systems are commonly used here. Emitters, which deliver water directly to plant roots, are a key component of these systems. They help minimize evaporation and runoff by providing a steady, controlled flow of water, keeping the soil moist for healthy plant growth. This targeted watering not only reduces weed growth, but can also be adapted for different plant and soil types. We are going to demonstrate the tests performed on the emitters used in irrigation systems in accordance with Indian standards. The standard classifies emitters into five major types. Number one, inline emitters, which are placed inside a pipe or tubing, releases water slowly and evenly to plants. Number two, online emitters, installed directly or indirectly into the wall of the irrigation lateral. Number three, multi-outlet emitters, divide water flow to multiple locations at the same time. Number four, unregulated emitters, which release water at different rates based on the inlet water pressure. Now number five, regulated emitters, maintain a constant water emission rate despite variations in inlet water pressure. In terms of uniformity of emission rate, emitters can be of two types. Category A with high uniformity with minimal deviation and Category B with lower uniformity with greater deviation. Aaj hum 4 liter per hour ke emission rate value, unregulated single online emitter or 0.5 say 1.5 Kilogram force per centimeter square operating pressure ke sare tests Indian standards ke anusar darshayenge. The first test we will conduct is an inspection of construction and workmanship. In this test, we will check the emitter and its parts for any manufacturing defects like grooves or bumps in the flow surfaces, cracks or cavities that could affect how the emitter works. To ensure consistent water flow and efficient irrigation, we measure the flow path in emitters. Accurate dimensions minimize blockages from debris or sediment, ensuring reliable operation. First, select three random emitters and disconnect their interconnections. Measure the flow path using a digital vernier caliper. Repeat for the two additional emitters, recording all measurements. Identify the smallest flow path measurement from all readings. The dimensions must meet or exceed those declared by the manufacturer to pass the test. Emitters must go through some performance tests to ensure they operate as desired. Resistance to hydrostatic pressure is one of such tests. This test is conducted on the emitters to evaluate their performance under pressure conditions. It measures the emitter's ability to withstand hydrostatic pressure without failure or leakage ensuring their reliability in practical applications. We will begin by increasing the pressure in three stages. First, we will apply a pressure that is 0.4 times the maximum working pressure for five minutes. Next, we will increase the pressure to 0.8 times and maintain it for another five minutes. Finally, we will now set the pressure to 1.2 times and hold it steady for 60 minutes. During this time, we will closely monitor the emitter bodies and their connections to the pipe. 
No leakage should occur except at the points where the emitters discharge. Immediately after completing the initial pressure test, we will raise the pressure to twice the maximum working pressure and maintain it for 5 minutes. The emitters should withstand the test pressure without suffering damage and without pulling out from the assembly. Next, we will perform a pull-out test on emitter to check out how strong and durable the connection is between the emitter and the tubing. This test makes sure that the emitters stay firmly attached while in use, preventing leaks and ensuring that the water is distributed evenly. First, attach an emitter to the lateral. Second, apply a weight of 4 kg to the emitter and start the timer. Third, after one hour, remove the weight. To pass this test, emitter should withstand the pulling force without detaching from the pipe wall. Another important performance parameter is uniformity of emission rate. This test ensures that water is distributed evenly by emitters in irrigation systems. This is important because it helps ensure that all plants receive the right amount of water, preventing issues like dry spots or overwatering, which can harm crop growth and waste resources. We will start with the number of test samples needed for our assessment. For single outlet emitters, we require at least 25 emitters. Next, we will measure the emission rates of the emitters in our test sample when the water pressure at the emitter matches the nominal test pressure for 5 minutes. We will record the measured emission rate at each emitter outlet separately. To assess the uniformity of emission rates, we will calculate the coefficient of variation denoted as CV using the following formula where CV is the coefficient of variation, the standard deviation represents the variation in emission rates, and the mean emission rate is the average of all measured rates. Now let's discuss the requirements that must be met. The mean emission rate of the test sample should not deviate from the nominal emission rate by more than 5% for category A, and not more than 10% for category B emitters. Additionally, the coefficient of variation, CV, for the emission rate must not exceed 5% for category A and 10% for category B. In continuation, to uniformity of emission rate, a test is performed to determine emission rate as a function of inlet pressure. Step 1. Number the emitters tested according to uniformity of emission rate in ascending order according to the measured emission rate. Number 1 being the lowest emission rate emitter and number 25 the highest. Step 2. Take 4 emitters from the series obtained. Numbers 3, 12, 13, 23 and measure their change in rate as a function of inlet pressure. Step 3. Plot the curve Q as a function of inlet pressure. Step 4. The curve of P shall confirm to the curve presented in manufacturer's publication within an allowable deviation of plus minus 10% at any pressure. Bharatiya Manak IS 13487 Emitters ki gunvata aur pradarshan aavshigataon ko paribhashit karta hai taki bharatiya kisanon ko sinchai ke liye sarvottam gunvata wale emitters mil sake.